for the past few days I uh, uh, just had a weird feeling that I need to like do a video Pro probably it would be the most important video for me not only to like just upload it on YouTube but basically to um, for myself to remember like my origins like original uh, story and like like how I uh, how I was like not created but at the same time I can like how my life turned out um, upside down I just uh, put uh, one contact in to just like um, <laughs> see how it presents in the ring light but at the same time maybe it will make sense later in the uh, video when I will be explaining things but mainly today um, I wanted to uh, like I guess maybe like clear overall things up about my personality I guess I mean kind of like just about myself myself overall not because like uh, to if someone give us shit or whatever no it's just basically for myself because uh, I uh, want to have like a clear video for me in the future to remember me because maybe I will forget or whatever or some things I won't forget um, but overall to just like remember my uh, origins I wanted to uh, make a video on uh, um, how my personality I guess was uh, created I mean it was not really created but it was basically born um, by chance of few triggers I guess or whatever um, I mean overall the sociopathy and psychopathy uh, disorders basically uh, usually are uh, born uh, with a like a mental breakdowns or whatever or like the triggers in life but I was had like a little bit of uh, different stories and a little bit of this different side effects of that um, so maybe I mean I might I name I named myself Dave the Psycho on the YouTube but basically it's just kind of like reflects overall how I not like want to present myself but it's kind of like my real um, person I guess but it's it's not triggering or whatever it's just basically some things are like not really explained for some people because um, it's hard to experience a trigger of a disorder, disorder that uh, I don't even know if it's a disorder um, but at the same time it's kind of like uh, how I perceive that when people perceive me I guess it's hard to tell but overall I wanted to like give a comprehensive explanation and a few things I will uh, say like uh, um, that people never uh, heard before from me uh, people didn't ask never asked because um, not because they uh, didn't care but it's just because it uh, was too much to handle I guess because uh, yeah like it is a danger, dangerous field to talk about psychology or whatever and not many people like to talk about because um, it's a hard topic uh, to uh, dissolve overall we need to start things up with um, uh, I guess like my origins because be so I grew up in Poland um, in my original city of Ocean or whatever no one cares but uh, to just uh, going straight to the point I was um, maybe I still am but I was born as a, a really sweet child like really cute one that uh, was really uh, in intelligent like really kind to people like overall a sweetheart uh, by nature 
and um, which is like uh, it's contemplating for me because uh, from my experiences overall with people and society um, it's like a golden rule of thumb that um, when someone is being too nice or like too even really like is like uh, close to a perfect person overall most of the times these are the people that have the most um, fucked up things in mentality and like in mind and in psychology overall and it is even proven by the studies that uh, highly intel intelligent people turn out to be a psychopaths and sociopaths really easily um, be I don't know why it is like that but overall it is just proven by, even by science but I kind of like knew that by experience because um, overall like in school in life if if something uh, seems to be too good to be true overall it's just like it is really uh, fake so there's that but overall if we are going to the human psychology uh, it's just that um, if uh, someone is uh, if if we are talking about personality if someone is being like too sugar coated or whatever that person usually becomes uh, really not even a real person um, but uh, on the other hand if someone is like really honest blunt like uh, uh, says exactly what he thinks and stuff like that usually these are the people that at least me um, look up to in terms of uh, having a, a friendship or whatever and because that's just what counts honesty and overall being um, being a human being and having said that um, because I was a sweetheart, sweetheart and overall uh, people might not suspect that but uh, maybe I, d I didn't know it either um, but because of few uh, things that I clearly remember still to this day um, I knew that something was not right but at the same time I didn't want to fix it because I knew that it will in the future cre create me as a person and uh, like evolve into a person that is uh, a really highly um, capable of um, having control of the of of everything basically if you're going into morals into feelings emotions stuff like that it's just basically it's kind of like a robotic um, approach to it basically maybe into the AI or something but yeah it's just like a rambling but overall um, uh, yeah so I grew up being a sweetheart and stuff like that I had a lovely dog overall uh, that to this day I miss him so much but besides the point um, the first thing that uh, comes to my mind I mean maybe I will be remembering throughout the video but um, the first things come to my mind when I knew that something was wrong um, was when one day um, I was wander wandering around the, uh, around the lake in the park uh, near my place when, when I was living um, there was a pond with frogs all, all over it basically like just like a small lake in the park lovely uh, sunny day stuff like that <laughs> and I don't know what came to me but um, I was watching uh, these uh, frogs and I uh, took one frog from the group um, I went went away for like three or four meters and in my mind I don't know why um, I thought to myself uh, that um, I was really interested um, <laughs> It's like three wing. Um, <laughs> um, I was really interested in how these frogs, frog uh, fly in air, 
and I wanted to see how this frog uh, um, goes down with uh, with force and just like uh, slams to the ground. Um, and at the time I didn't really know why, it's just like what it came to my mind. Um, <laughs> um, so I picked up this frog and I uh, threw this frog few meters uh, up the ground into the air and then I watched it closely when it uh, just like fell down to the ground just like uh, s really slam slammed uh, to the surface and uh, I, and the frog and uh, then I was uh, observing the frog and uh, the frog was like um, still alive um, it was like me I think um, the frog's leg broke then <laughs> um so then because i basically um i uh, wanted to do that again because i was more interested in what happened the next time um so i threw it again just like slammed to the ground again uh, even uh, stronger than before because I threw it specifically even higher because I wanted to have a greater effect um, and the frog uh, by then couldn't skip because frogs normally skip right so this frog uh, had uh, broken all his legs and uh, he was uh, heavily breathing I uh, could so because of the gorge or whatever um the uh, yeah he was basically like immobilized overall and i by by that point i uh, wanted to do that again and again and again basically to see how the frog um dies <laughs> um which at the time for me it was like really nothing really innocent um but if i would be like a person that stands like next to this scene that it was happening I would be like really really terrified it's basically like uh, an omen from the film uh, the child basically it was omen omen <laughs> and uh, for someone that could be standing next to me like no one was in the approximate of me it was just like me uh, in the empty park and if we would, if someone would like stand next to me, he, I would be totally like sure that uh, this person would just like run away scared because it was just like so surreal to even happen. Um, so lo long story short, after a few throws, um, uh, after last uh, uh, last uh, uh, throw, the frog fell down and basically uh, the tongue, her guts. Uh, from the inside were all spilled all the fl all on, on, on the floor <laughs> um, and uh, I was like already done with it because uh, I could I didn't want to even touch it overall because it was too disgusting <laughs> um, and so basically the frog was destroyed b because from the inside and like the insides were spilled out on the uh, ground and uh, I was just like hanging around for like a half minute uh, just like observing the frog and like observing the the small details of the intestines like the tongue, the head, the eyes and stuff like that like what, what everything was uh, when everything was smashed and like after half minute I just like went away went by with it and just like that's kind of like that's one uh, situation that I had and uh, for for me it is like a key point to the to this seeing what really um, it meant because at the time it was nothing for me but uh, after some years I kind of like kept remembering that it's not like a trauma but I kept remembering that because it was like the first I not I don't know it was a trigger but it was the first symptom of uh, that maybe something was off. <laughs> uh, 
and uh, that's kind of like one thing. There was a uh, second thing was uh, it was a really main source of everything basically. So at the time I was in the secondary school I think. Yeah, I was like I think 15. Yeah, like 15, 14, stuff like that. Like the preteens, right? Um, I was uh, going by, uh, by that time uh, to the secondary school with a profile of dancing because I uh, back in the day I danced uh, overall for like four years um, dances like samba, cha cha, stuff like that, the standards Latin I was uh, competitively um, like dancing be as, a, as a hobby aside from school because it was a profile uh, like a subject. Uh, so, um, there, in the school, every year there was an, there was organizing a, not like ex expedition, but basically just like w a weekend um, away in a small village. Uh, I think I remember. I'm trying now to remember that. Um, a small village uh, that basically the premise of this uh, journey was uh, a religious um, like few days with Jesus. <laughs> in the school I was uh, participating in the um, re religious radio. I was like a leader, leader of that so basically in, in uh, between uh, the subjects subjects in the day I was um, putting some putting some music uh, on the hallways. Um, usually it was religious ones, which uh, people really didn't care at all, because uh, who would care to listen to the, uh, like, <laughs> chores, like cho chorus of uh, some uh, prayer on their break. <laughs> like, that's kind of like insane to think now, but at the time uh, the head, uh, head uh, manager or whatever of that uh, was uh, uh, What's called a priest, but the female version, not priest, but like the lower one. I don't know. Like I don't even care. Um, someone from the church, <laughs> and uh, she was uh, every year organizing the this uh, expedition. Not expedition. I'm missing the word. The three day away f uh, from school uh, as a uh, like to this village uh, uh, to like have a like a religious chill days basically uh, the premise of that was usually like uh, praying and stuff like that and it was like uh, it's hard to tell now like I don't really remember that clearly but um, it was basically a religion um, based party, I don't know, um, but uh, what uh, usually people uh, would do on these uh, uh, days uh, every year was uh, it was basically an excuse to have um, a party, um, like an, another party there on place in the village uh, with free alcohol, stuff like that, like uh, really having fun, stuff like that. So basically like a preteen uh, alcohol-based um, weekend. Oh, I don't really remember very much from this weekend, to be honest. Uh, and it's not basically because uh, I was uh, like young or like forgot about it, but I really uh, have a slight, a really slim part in my memory that. I don't remember the, that period of time because um, in this uh, weekend um, because when we were partying stuff like that when someone would uh, get caught on drinking stuff like that he went to the other rooms where uh, there was like um, crosses there was uh, uh, chairs stuff like that to like uh, pray it's basically like a small churches in the uh, mansion and not churches, like I don't know how it's called, but it was basically like places to just like pray in silence, stuff like that. 
and when uh, uh, it came to me that uh, uh, because I got drunk so much because I was drinking uh, basically pure vodka from uh, uh, basically a cup <laughs> um, so I don't know how much I drank th uh, that weekend but I think I drank maybe like two cups of vodka which maybe at the time for a preteen two cups is like 600 milliliters so it's basically like half a liter of vodka um, basically like in one day in one night and so I was wasted so much like I re literally could maybe vivid three four things I did there but basically I did, don't remember at all other things that the when I was doing that night um, but um, when it came, come down to me, uh, when I got caught or whatever of drinking, like it was clear that I was drinking, but I was uh, a privileged person to be um, there because uh, I mean I was higher up, um, positioned from all other people because I was uh, directing the uh, Christian radio and in the, sc in the school. And so I could get away of things uh, easily when other people would just like uh, get grounded or whatever. Uh, but I got caught eventually because it would not be fair of others. <laughs> and um, uh, I, I don't know what time was it. I think it was like 2 a.m. because I was going crazy in my bed because I couldn't sleep. So I kept awaking everyone in my room. Um, but... Um, uh, someone uh, c uh, came to me and like took me um, to the other room with, with these crosses or whatever. It's really now to say that it's kind of like uh, it seems like it was like um, an exorcism or whatever, uh, which I don't know, maybe. <laughs> um, so I went to this room and um, <sighs> that was uh, the breaking point for me. If I remember, when I remember, um, because uh, I was so drunk, I could not think straight overall, and I was just like on my knees, like praying to the Jesus that for forgive me for drink drinking underage and stuff like that, and I was like basically forced to do that. Like I didn't want to do that. Like I didn't care at all. I don't really remember that, but I had like what I call. Nowadays, I had uh, uh, a mental suicide, basically. So what happened there was that uh, I remember clearly um, is that um, at one point when I was uh, praying, I don't know, maybe it was like a superficial whatever, but at one point when I was praying, I got like my mind basically went all black, like I forgot in one moment everything that I was doing, like I didn't really know where I was, like I was just like suddenly on the ground on my knees like praying to something but I didn't know what I was doing um, and uh, all people were playing, uh, praying over over me, like next to me, because there was few people, quite a few people who drank, who were drunk that day. And uh, when I was praying, I was like looking around uh, the room, and, and I was like, "What the hell is happening here? Like, what am I doing in here?" Here, and so I suddenly just like got up. The people that uh, were like the supervisor or whatever just like uh, looked at me and like uh, was like, "What? What the hell is happening?" And uh, he did, he, they didn't do anything, but like I just got up and I just went, like left the room and just like went to sleep. Like suddenly, like without without uh, saying anything, just like going there and just like that's it. That's the uh, end of the day for me there. And um, it was like basically the last day. Um, so I. The next day we were um, going away to home, basically, to the... It was like a Sunday, and then uh, we were going uh, home. Because on Monday you go normally to school, I think, something like that. 
So, when I got to home, I was just so confused, like, what the hell is happening overall. And, um, I don't know, like, I ba barely remember that because I had this situation, like, I had, like, my brain just, like, reset it overall, and uh, for, like, a few weeks I didn't even know what what I was doing, like, when I was going, I was just, like, basically autopilot, autopilot and just, like, go into the school, like, just basically that. And uh, it was weird for my friends when uh, they were talking to me in school. So after a few weeks, um, like uh, I, I think I got lo lost contact with them overall, with my friends. And uh, I just like went to the shadows as a person. And um, that's kind of like what I remember from that. But over time, I noticed that uh, when I was looking at uh, people all around me, I could like um, really see things through, like if someone was lying or like if someone was uh, like being fake or like if someone would just like, I, I had a really great understanding of what is happening all around me, which is like, uh, it was weird at the time. I'm saying that it, it I got like some superpowers, but no. <laughs> um, so I, to explain that like um, easily, um, I developed some kind of a possession of uh, my mind, I guess. <laughs> I'm like mind, what the hell? <laughs> uh, so basically, I think because I had the trigger of of this Christian thing or whatever bullshit that happened then um, it was yeah like I called it mental suicide I have had a complete reset of everything so I had to relearn everything that uh, um, was concerning about morality and emp empathy and like um, uh, just basically like thinking overall as a human um, emotions everything like everything was resetted for me and I had to realize that overall it's kind of like when it went straight to being born again as a with a new brain I guess um, so what overall after that I don't think after I had anything else that I remember It's just like if we are comparing two people that existed, like I, there was David from the past, um, like a sweetheart, really nice person, stuff like that, and like just basically not suspecting anything. After that experience, it kind of like shifted to 180 as a person that is like suddenly really confident, like really uh, spoken, like. Uh, says what he thinks like everything like being honest like everything surfaced that i don't know if it was ba uh, back in the day like uh, buried in my brain or like maybe like another personality emerged and but basically it's kind of like a new um personality grew of that but it's kind of like maybe it was all the time there because I knew that I had like really fucked up things in, um, in my mind buried because of this frog experience that maybe it just like this Christian uh, weekend like kind of like went went by as a trigger to like release a true true persona of me um, <laughs> it sounds really like emo or whatever but it's kind of like what I perceive it like that. Um, yeah, and uh, by then I had to like... And I noticed that I had some things like... I have like... As a human or whatever, I have a really strange... 
handling of my uh, mind, I guess. Because I have some things like I can turn off some aspects of being like a human. Which sounds so weird. So basically I can turn off the morality, the morals, stuff like that. So I can do whatever I can, I wanna and stuff like that without uh, like having morality of consequences what I do. So, for example, um, I can turn off uh, having pain. So basically, if I I could I'm like I'm bleeding or I have like uh, a really deep cut and stuff like that, I can just like in my brain cut off the feeling of that, and then I would just like just go normally, just doing my things normally, bleeding out, but I couldn't didn't care at all, just like normally functioning. And it's kind of like, I guess, a plus of mine that I could take control of everything I um, uh, have in my mind as a way of doing things. <laughs> it sounds so shady and so psychotic, so I'm just saying how it is. It's just that I can do whatever I wanna, just purely because uh, I can control the aspects, uh, the human aspects of my uh, mind, I guess. And uh, some people might understand it, some people won't, but for me it's kind of like was a reason uh, to not, because I knew it was wrong overall, but I didn't really care to fix, fix it at all, because I wanted to... I kind of like treated that as a um, primary, primary, what the fuck, <laughs> the vocabulary is not my thing, <laughs> I guess in my brain. Because I had this mental suicide, as I call it, I could re re relearn things that society learns me. So basically like if we were saying nowadays, um, everything that I am, it's kind of like a result of I experienced uh, from that time on, from other people, from from other sources, from other like um, talents, stuff like that. Um, so I am kind of like treating that as I am a true product of today's, um, I guess, reality um, of like uh, 2019 now. So I always treated myself as a really the most realest person there is because I am a product of what is happening now. It's kind of like I learned everything uh, from, uh, from that uh, because I had nothing um, I had nothing, so I could could relearn things my way as I wanna. Uh, so it's kind of like I uh, maybe it's hard to explain. It is hard to explain overall, but it's just like my personality. It's kind of like a jack of all trades, being like mixed mixed. It's kind of like a, a jo joker or whatever. Um, and I knew it was wrong in the space I was living um, by the time I moved out. When I moved out, it's a completely different story. When I moved out, it was um, like a gateway to do things that I wanted to do my way and I didn't, I couldn't hurt anyone else and stuff like that in my home uh, hometown. <laughs> and and uh, it's kind of like, uh, I, when I had this Christian weekend, I uh, awakened my true self. But when I moved out, I truly began to live. I guess, which if we are going by aspect that, that now, I think it was basically like f 
three, four years ago. Just, just these years. I am 24 years old now. So when I was 20, 19, 20, I moved out. So I didn't really live in these 20 years. I began to live in the next past 20. Um, as a person, I guess, <laughs> but with a personality that could bring me anywhere else I wanna. And uh, that's kind of like what I perceive it to this day. And um, maybe it's kinda like, like a two-faced two um, thingy, um, because, uh, and to this day, um, it has side effects because um, because I have I could control my mind stuff like that I could control morality and stuff like that I didn't uh, care to learn few things like empathy because I could I don't have ability to feel for someone if something happens to someone for example when my grandma was considered uh, uh, considering uh, like. Like she was in the hospital not long time ago and she was uh, by doctors considered to be dying already. I, and my, I love my grandma overall, even though I don't really know how to love as an emotion. Um, I knew that my grandma is important to me, but I could not really empathize, empathize I, like I could not really relate to that. So even though she was diagnosed that she was dying, I... <laughs> it's hard to say that I didn't care, but I could feel that I care. And it's fucked up thing to say, but it's kind of like I, I had no ability to relate to that, even though I know deep down that this is a person that I really care about, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and so that's kind of like one of the side effects um, that um, my brain developed after this mental suicide. Um, other things like emotions, I guess, um, like um, I don't really know how to love or like like someone. I mean, I can I can like like everyone overall, but I don't really have like an affections or, or something like that. So it's kind of like I've never been in a relationships or like I didn't really have a love at the first sight. It's kind of like I um, I don't really have this aspect of my life. Um, so if if we're coming to terms with my parents or whatever, uh, this my parents are really cool or whatever, and they love me but I don't have an ability to love them back because I don't know how to. Because I, don't, I didn't learn that when I had this mental thingy going on there. Um, I could do that before that, when I, was a, when I was like a sweetheart and stuff like that, but after the f uh, situation that I had, I couldn't learn that because I, I didn't know how to. And it was not the time to do that then because I was busy in being um, dead inside <laughs> um, so there's that um, but overall um, like if we were comparing 20 years of my life before and like four years to that the four years that I passed uh, now um, they could not compare to 20 years I lived before because um, the with number of experiences, number of um, like revelations, number of like uh, thoughts, everything. It's kind of like I uh, really um, from year to year I progress uh, and I learn as a better person but I have a really high high floor of learning everything because um, I was basically like born again like like uh, born uh, a new personality so i can take 
really high wisdom overall considering to some people that had a personality when they were born it's weird but whatever i just like explain how i ex i can explain that and uh, yeah it's kind of like my life i just consider myself i was never diagnosed with uh, being a psycho or whatever or like a sociopath anything disorders but at the same time i never went to the psychologist because deep down i knew that i would trick them um, to not being di diagnosed but i know there are some things that uh, are not right um, but at the same time i took it as an advantage to live overall and uh, that's kind of like how I, it, it is and it is important to me um, that um, it's like I live in my own bubble but at the same time I kind of share that with others um, but it's just that um, I know that I have my own fantasy in my head that I am living um, so I don't really much care what is happening all around me because I am the most comfortable uh, in my fantasy world that I have. Um, but it helped me to discover um, like many more, I guess, discover life overall. It's really um, fulfilling to realize yourself as a person uh, and like uh, love yourself, your body, your um, thinking, your everything. It's not, it's kind of like a little bit of an ego egoistic like type of thinking, but at the same time, it's kind of like you realize that you are an amazing person that is capable of so many things if you wanna pursue that and. Uh, yeah, like, um, even when I moved to Paris, I uh, kind of like progressed so much, like uh, as a 24 year old, when I look uh, in, uh, to the other friends or like other uh, my colleagues, um, I have everything that I want now as a financial stability. I have home, I have whatever I want to uh, buy and like, it's kind of like every, I have everything that I wanted and I am proud of that, that I could achieve that just basically by myself with, with some little help but it was not a major um, thing that um, was mandatory to my current success and uh, I'm I am, a, I am in a state of like just being happy like happy with everything that is nowadays because I am happy with my capabilities and like I am proud of myself basically if we were going just like bluntly to say that and that's kind of like it so I was a different person but at the same time I was maybe like uh, deep down a person that I was always like I am now but it's kind of like I had a few triggers that um, helped me to release my true form as a boss or whatever <laughs> So that's kind of like it. I mean, I I guess I forgot uh, some things, but at the same time I wanted to um, save for myself, for my memory, my origins as a being a fully um, realized person with uh, mental problems that helped. It's not a problem for me, it's a problem for others because they could be dead but um, it's kind of like my life and this is just cool to me <laughs> and it's crazy for others but for me it's perfectly normal world 
So that's kind of like it. I just wanted to give an insight if it would be a little bit confusing why I might be different from others in terms of thinking but it's kind of like I wanted to conserve that for me as a memory of who I was but who I become as a result of many things and I probably even forgot some experiences um, but it's kind of like <laughs> these are the main ones that I remember that were influenced by being a psycho <laughs> so that's it <laughs>